What's up everyone? D Crack here. And this isn't a reaction video, guys. This is my official QA video. I've been wanting to do a QA since I had about 500 subscribers, but I just didn't have enough questions, guys. But now I just hit, last night I hit over 3,500 subscribers. So, so first of all, thank you to all you new subscribers, old subscribers, everyone who still watches my videos. Just, it means a lot to me because without you guys, I probably wouldn't make videos to be honest. But yeah, guys, I, first of all, I am impressed with you guys. I made a video last night asking for you guys to comment down below or on Twitter, or whatever, ask me questions for the Q&A, and I gathered here 30 questions. There was honestly some more, but I thought 30 was probably good. Guys, if I forgot you, or if I didn't use your question in the video, I apologize. I tried to get questions from everyone that I saw. Some people asked more than one question, so I just took one question from them. But yeah, guys, if I didn't use your question, it's I'm not trying to be mean or it's nothing against you or your question. It's just maybe I didn't see it or, um, you know, there's just a lot of questions. So yeah, guys, I've picked, I've picked 30 questions and I'm gonna just start with number one and go to 30. And um, yeah, guys, this should be fun, but let's get started. All right, guys, so question number one comes from Faze Shady, and they say, who's your favorite rapper and rap song? Shit, that's kind of hard. For some reason, I've always liked the rapper Rick Ross, you know, the bigger guy, Rick Ross. I just like the tone of his voice and stuff. Honestly, when I was younger, like 16, 17, 18, I was really into rap. And I still am, I still am into rap because some of you guys might not know, but I have a second YouTube channel called D-Crack on the Beat. Honestly, the main reason I started YouTube was because, you know, I was making beats and stuff, like rap beats and stuff. And I started a YouTube channel for that. Yeah, that'll be in a later question, guys. But yeah, I really like Rick Ross. I listen to a lot of like Gucci Man or Gucci Mane, however you pronounce his name. I like their song. And, and a favorite rap song. Honestly, guys, I don't think I have a favorite song. There's a lot of different rap songs and stuff I like by Rick Ross and Gucci Man and all these guys. But yeah, honestly, I've been listening to more like Metallica and metal music. I've gotten into playing guitar and stuff more. So I don't listen to as much rap music. I'm more into like metal and stuff. But um, it's not that I don't like rap. I just have kind of moved on to listening to different types of music. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, here's question number two by my man, Carlos. He says, when when do you think you're going to hit 100,000 subscribers? Hashtag shout out to all the pears. I eat a lot of pears. Shout out to all the pears. I eat pears. <laughs> I love that shit, guys. But oh, when do I think I'm going to hit 100,000 subscribers? Well, I started YouTube about five months ago and I'm now at about 3,500 subs. So honestly, unless I have a video that blows up or my channel blows up even more, I'm thinking, you know, it'll probably be a couple years before I hit 100,000 subs. If I do it sooner, that'd be awesome. But yeah, I think I'll probably be a couple years to be honest. All right, question number three uh, by Chris angle I think it says what has been the best day of your life and what has been the scariest day of your life now I'm gonna say the best day of my life was probably when probably when my two boys were born Andrew and Ian when they were born or the day I uh, met my wife or married her probably all those together kind of combined into a best day honestly just my family you know I'm thankful for them and um, that's probably the best day of my life and then he says, what has been the scariest day of your life? All right. I'd say when my son Andrew was about a little under one, he had a seizure. I was actually at work, but he um, he had a he had a fever. He wasn't feeling well, and he had a fever. And I guess his fever kind of caused him to have a minor seizure. So what happened was my wife called me from work, and I had to meet her at the hospital and stuff. And it was really scary, but yeah, Andrew's fine. He's now about two and a half. Um, he's more wild than ever, just a normal two-year-old. But yeah, him having that seizure was probably probably one of the scarier things that happened in my life. 
All right, question number four by Rap City. They says, why did you name your channel D Crack and what does it mean and what is the intro song? Well, first of all, I'm gonna start off. Someone, uh, the audio or intro beat or whatever to my, to my intro on my channel, Someone sent me that audio file and I honestly don't know the name of the intro or anything like that. I made my intro myself and then someone sent me the audio file. So I don't know that. Someone just sent it to me. But all right, guys, I, I knew this was going to come up. Why did you name your channel D Crack? Honestly, guys, there's no special meaning behind it. It was just kind of random something I came up with. The name D Crack originally came up when I was trying to think of another name for my for my producer name. Like I said, I make beats, rap beats, and stuff like that. My old name used to be like Sus Seven Beats or something. I didn't like that, so I was trying to think of another name. And my first name's David, so that starts with a D, and my last name starts with a K. So I thought, all right, D K. And then I thought, like, oh, I'm always laying down tracks, or I'm making beat tracks on, you know. In FL Studio and the program that I make beats with and stuff. So I thought DK tracks and I kind of put it into like D crack. So guys, it's kind of something I just made up randomly. I came up with a name about three or four years ago. So I've had this name for three or four years um, on my other channel, my beat channel, D crack on the beat. And then when I wanted to start a reaction channel, I just thought, what the hell, I'll just name it D crack. And then my other channel will be D crack on the beat. Then my reaction channel slash vlog other video channel will just be D Crack. So yeah, got, yeah, guys, it's not really anything special. It's just kind of a name I just threw together and kind of just made up. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I guess that's all for that question. But let's move on. Question number five by True God Um Brian. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It says, hey, D Crack, I know you mentioned it before. But do you ever plan to start a gaming channel? Have a great night, my man, and keep up the good work. Well, I appreciate the love there, and yeah, I'm going to keep up my work. You know, I try to make videos every day, so thank you for the positivity. But yes, a gaming channel, guys. I've told, you know, I've made videos about this in the past, but I'm currently saving up for a, a really good gaming laptop, a better laptop. Once I'm able to buy a new camera and a new laptop and my equipment, I'm going to start doing gaming videos. A lot of people, I, I think I'm just going to, keep one channel D crack have reactions vlogs pranks some gaming videos I don't feel like making a whole separate channel just for gaming videos but let me know what you guys think down in the comments if I should have a separate channel or just kind of upload everything on this channel D crack um, I think it might be easier just to have one channel but yes for sure I am gonna start doing gaming videos eventually and I'm, I'm gonna need some requests from you guys thinking I'll probably do a lot of scary, scary gameplay videos and stuff. But yeah, for sure, I'm gonna start doing gaming once I am able to buy all the equipment that I need. All right guys, question number six says, what made you want to be a YouTuber? Also, do you, do, also do you anything else instead of YouTube? I think they meant do you do anything else other than YouTube? And honestly guys, I'm going to give a big shout out to Blasphemous HD. I'm sure all you guys know who BHD is, Blasphemous. Honestly, I used to watch a bunch of his videos. And when I first started doing my reactions, a lot of people said, you're copying Blasphemous HD, this and that. But um, I'll be honest, maybe I was in a way because he was kind of my influence. So me doing videos in the same way that he kind of does videos. I mean, maybe I was copying him. It wasn't like intentional. But yeah, for sure. And also, I just started YouTube because I thought, what the hell? You know, every day I watch a ton of YouTube videos. I really love YouTube. I'm thought, why not create a channel and record myself reacting to these videos? Because I'm like, I'm already watching the video, so I might as well just create a channel. So yeah, guys, it's pretty much why I started a channel, because Blasphemous HD was kind of an influence. And I thought, what the hell? I thought it'd be fun to just create a reaction channel. So here, here we are. 3,500 subscribers later. <laughs> but, and do you do anything else other than YouTube? Yes, um, like I said earlier, I play guitar. I'm not really good, but I enjoy it. I play guitar. Um, I work a lot. You know, I have my wife and my two boys, so I do a lot of stuff with them, or I try to when I'm not doing reaction videos and stuff like that. So, yeah, 
I got plenty of stuff going on in my life other than YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys, question number seven says, how long have you been doing YouTube for and what are you and what are you going to do this weekend? Well, first of all, if you count when I first started YouTube, like I said, just making beats. I originally started YouTube uploading my my rap beats and stuff that I made out six or seven years ago. Ha, huh, damn. Ever get a burp in your chest and it doesn't come out? Ugh. All right, I'm better now. Yeah, I started at YouTube originally just to make, to upload my beats and stuff. And then, um, so I had that channel and then, yeah, I just created my D-Crack, you know, my reaction channel here about four or five months ago. So yeah, I mean, I've technically been on YouTube for six or seven years, but I've only had this channel for about five months. So there's that question. And what am I going to do this weekend? Well, I was off work yesterday and I'm off work today. So yeah, I'm pretty much just going to be at work this weekend. <laughs> be working. Fun, right? <laughs> All right. Question number eight says, how old are you and how often do you watch YouTube? Because I watch YouTube for hours a day. I am currently 22. I will be 23 January 10th. So in about a month is my birthday. So there's that question. And then how often do I watch YouTube? Yeah, I watch YouTube every day. I, you know, first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is get on my laptop, check my YouTube channel, see how my videos are doing, watch a couple videos. Yeah, yeah, I probably watch YouTube at least for a couple hours every day, for sure. I love YouTube, that's why I'm on it. All right, question number nine. What will you do if you get a million subscribers? Probably shit my pants. <laughs> I don't know, that seems so far away, a million subscribers, that I really don't know what I'll do. Once I get more subscribers, guys, I really want to do some giveaways for you guys and, um, you know, maybe some gaming consoles or some gift cards or something fun, have a giveaway for all of you because, you know, all the support that you've given me, I want to give back to you guys, but, like, I'm currently saving up for a laptop and equipment, so... I'm kind of broke myself at the moment, you know, when you just start off doing YouTube and stuff, you're not really making a lot. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to save up for myself now, but once I'm able to get my equipment and everything, hopefully I'll be able to do some giveaways. So maybe for a million subscribers, I'll have a big gaming console or gift card giveaway or something. Question 10 says, what's your favorite horror channel? Now, I know this right away. Without a doubt, Mr. Nightmare. Shout out to him, Mr. Nightmare. I've done a lot of his reaction, or I've reacted to a lot of his videos in the past, and I just did one not long ago to Mr. Nightmare, but I really enjoy his his horror stories and channel, just, just in general. And I like Mr. Nightmare's voice. He's, a, he's good at narrating the videos and stuff, and just really makes it seem scary. So yeah, Mr. Nightmare for sure. Question 11. I am not sure if you... I am not sure if you have addressed this in a video yet, but you seem to do a lot of videos from work. What do you do for a living? And for a more fun question, how did you and your wife meet? How long have you been together? Well, all right, yes. Um, a lot of my videos I do do at work. For you guys who don't know, I'm a security officer. I'm not going to tell you guys where exactly because I don't want you know personal information out there. But I work as a security officer, and if you see me, the background different from here, I'm normally at work because, yeah, it's true that there'll be a lot of times when I'm at work that it'll be completely dead or be really slow. So I just bring my laptop with me, and now I'll just react to videos at work. I mean, might as well make good use of my time, you know? Pretty much all I have to do is keep an eye on the cameras, and I check them once in a while. And then when it's really slow, I'm able to do videos at work. So, yeah, there's your question there, and I'm security officer for you guys who don't know. And then, how did I meet my wife? Uh, well, I had a for years here in Illinois. You know, there's a lot of crop, beans and corn and stuff like that. Where the tasseling is where you walk through cornfields and you have to pull the tassels off certain corn so they don't pollinate with the other corn. Some shit like that. It's confusing. But I met my wife when I was like 15 or 16 at the tasseling. So yeah, fun. I met her in a hot and sweaty cornfield is where I met my wife. We just started talking and then started texting more and then we went out on some dates and here we are three years later with two kids so yeah fun story <laughs> uh, and she said how long have y'all been together and we this march 22nd coming up here in a few months will be four years i've been married four years already which is crazy but question 12 
I don't mean to ask a personal question, but how did you and your wife meet? Okay, guys, I just answered that question in the one before, but shout out to Angel. Shout out to Angel. I just wanted to get her, or I'm not sure if it's a guy or girl. It can go either way, but um, I just wanted to get their question in there, so shout out to them, but I just answered that question, so let's move on, guys. Question number 13, how old are you? Okay, I just answered that too. I'm 22. I'll be 23 January 10th. But yeah, shout out to Danny. Danny boy 22. I wanted to get your get your comment in there too, Danny. So shout out to you. Question 14. Why did you start making YouTube videos? Yeah, I kind of touched I kind of talked about this earlier too, but I wanted to give a shout out to um, Nathan Potter, I think. But yeah, you know, I started because I was influenced by Blasphemous HD, and I really watched a lot of YouTube videos, so I thought, what the hell? So I started a channel. But yeah, I've seen this guy comment a lot of my videos, so even though I've kind of answered this question, I wanted to uh, give a shout out to him as well. Question 15 by Megan says, when you first started making videos, were you really, really nervous to upload? And <laughs> To be honest guys, when I first, when I made my first reaction video about five months ago, I think it was to like a try not to laugh video or some crap like that. But yeah, when I set the camera up and started reacting to a video, I did feel a little nervous. I wasn't used to a camera being in front of me. And yeah, it was a little nerve wracking, but you just gotta keep making videos. That's my best advice. Just keep making videos. Every video you'll feel a little more comfortable and you'll get the hang of it. But if you feel nervous at first, just keep pushing on and you'll get better. That's my advice to you, Megan. Question 16. When did you start watching Angry Grandpa? Now, okay, I've been watching Angry Grandpa for about two or three years. I think I was on YouTube one day and I just stumbled across a recommended video, which was Angry Grandpa. I've been hooked ever since. But yeah, guys, that's why I react to a lot of Angry Grandpa videos because you guys really seem to enjoy them. I love Angry Grandpa, Kid Behind a Camera, Michael, Charlie, all those people. Bridget, Bridget's all right. Bridget can be annoying, but I still, I still like her, I guess, because she's part of the Angry Grandpa show. But yeah, I've been watching him for about two or three years. Question 17. I got a couple of questions for you. Number one, how long have you been married? I answered that. It'll be four, four years and March. Uh, number two, what do you do aside from YouTube? I kind of answered that too. You know, I play guitar, spend time with my wife and kids. I work, so I have a lot of stuff going on other than YouTube. But my dream was to do YouTube full time and not have to go to work. <laughs> number three, are you a fan of Nirvana, System of a Down, or Insane Clown Posse? Thanks for doing this, man. It means a lot. I have been following you since you had 300 subs and you have some of the best reactions. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate appreciate the love from you. And yeah, I like Nirvana, System of a Down. I haven't really listened to much Insane Clown Posse. Like I said, I'm more into like Metallica, Megadeth, Metal. I play guitar and shit, so I kind of like more of the metal stuff. I kind of listen to the older, like the older metal, like I said, Metallica, Megadeth, but Metallica just came out with a brand new album, Hardwired, and I, I love that shit, it's awesome. But yeah, thanks for your question. Let's move on. Question 18. What inspired you to do a reaction channel, especially reacting to horror stories? Okay, I've kind of already talked about what inspired me to start a reaction channel, so you guys know that. But especially reacting to horror stories. I guess when I first started off, I still try to react to scary and horror stories, but I just, I just felt like that's what people enjoyed watching me react to was horror stuff. I didn't really like scaring myself, but at the same time, I felt like you guys were really enjoying me watching scary horror stories, so that's why I did it. I did it for you guys, so you guys should be thankful. I about shit my pants sometimes over trying to make you guys happy. <laughs> Let's move on, guys. Question 19. What do you do for a living? So like I said, guys, currently I am a security officer. Um, yeah, I'm a security officer at this at this big big building. I'm not gonna say the name. Big building. Well, that's very descriptive. I'm a security officer at a big building. Well, that's I sound like a fucking retard. But yeah, guys, I'm a security guard. It's what I do currently. My dream job would to just make videos for you guys. I'm hoping eventually that I can stay home and just make reaction videos for you guys, vlogs, other types of videos. But 
Only time will tell us, right? <laughs> Question number 20. How long have you been married to your wife and how old are your kids? Okay, I've already said I'll be married to my wife for four years in March, so that question's been answered. But how old are my kids? All right, my oldest son, Andrew, he is two and a half. He'll be three next June. And my youngest son, Ian, is one. So I have a two and a half year old and a one year old. I wouldn't recommend having kids that close together because my wife, my wife and I's hands are very full. More my wife's hands because I'm at work a lot. So I love my wife. She takes care of my boys. I honestly don't think I could be home all day with a two and a half year old and a one year old. They sometimes drive me crazy, but, but I love them. I love them. <laughs> don't get me wrong. But having a two, two and a one year old is uh, can be quite overwhelming sometimes. Question 20, 21. Um, <laughs> What's your real name? My real name is David, as some of you guys have probably heard and one of the other questions or just know in general. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys my last name, I'm sorry. Just, I don't wanna give my full name out on YouTube. Yeah, my name is David. Question 22, what, it, what, I can't even talk now. Maybe I need some Gatorade. I love Gatorade. Ah, that shit's refreshing. When is your birthday? Birthday is January 10th, 1994. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna be 23 in about a month. Yeah, my birthday's January 10th. Question 23. Do you enjoy reacting to videos? Also, if you didn't have a job, what would you do? Yeah, of course I enjoy reacting to videos, guys. That's why that's why I do it for you all. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. But having the support of all of you just encourages me more to make more videos. I wouldn't do if I wouldn't do reaction videos or videos in general if I didn't enjoy it. Let's get that straight. So yes, of course I enjoy it. And also, if you didn't have a job, what would you do? First of all, if I didn't have a job, I wouldn't have an apartment. I'd probably be living in the street. My ass would be broke. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have a job. I'd probably just try to keep making YouTube videos. But honestly, my job in security right now is just kind of helping me financially until hopefully my YouTube takes off eventually. But if it doesn't, I'll just keep making videos for fun and just keep my job. But I don't really know what I'd be doing if I didn't have a job, to be honest. Question 24. What is your favorite Angry Grandpa video? By the way, love the vids. Well, thank you. I'm glad you love my videos. Just keep watching them. Glad you enjoy them. And I gotta say, I still think one of my favorite Angry Grandpa videos is the Obsessed Fan. I love that video. Angry Grandpa the Obsessed Fan. I have a reaction to that, guys. So if you wanna go check it out, Go check out my video, Angry Grandpa the Obsessed Fan. I'm sure most of you guys have seen that video. But I love that one where the guy just acts like he's looking through the blinds, creeping on Grandpa. It's just, it's a really good video. So go check it out. Question 25. Why are your videos awesome? Shout my channel, please. All right. Well, there you go. There's a shout out. There's your shout out since you asked so nicely. <laughs> Why are my videos so awesome? Um, because I'm awesome. Question 26. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Well, I really enjoy Blasphemous HD, like I said, guys. But honestly, person I love on YouTube the most is probably Angry Grandpa and Kid Behind a Camera. And I do watch Big Jugger Nuggets here and there. But yeah, I don't really have one favorite YouTuber. Probably a tie between... Angry Grandpa, Kid Behind a Camera, McJuggernuggets is a little below them. I like Blasphemous HD. I like Mr. Nightmare. I like a lot of different channels. So yeah, I don't really have one favorite YouTuber. Question number 27. Have you ever done any drugs? No, guys. Um, for some reason, I've never smoked any weed. I've never done any hard drugs. I mean, the only thing I've really ever done is tobacco or smoke cigarette or something like that or a swisher. But I've never done anything illegal. I don't know. I've just, I didn't really grow up with anyone in high school who smoked weed or did any drugs like that. So, yeah, I guess, no, I haven't done any drugs. 
Question 28. What is your favorite Llama Arts video? Well, you know, Llama Arts is the person who does like those animated horror movies. And I really like the hotel horror stories animated. I don't know why. I just got a really creepy vibe about a rundown creepy hotel horror story mixed up. So yeah, probably the hotel one by Llama Arts. Question 29. Can you please do a prank on your wife soon? Yes, guys, I've been slacking. I really want to get my wife soon. I'm hoping she doesn't watch this video. I'm not going to go into detail what I'm going to do. But yes, guys, I want to start pranking my wife more. Maybe she'll do some pranks on me, start a little prank war or something. But yeah, like this video if you think I should prank my wife and start a prank war with her. But yeah, definitely I want to do a prank on her soon. All right, guys, and the last question, question 30. When did you first start YouTube? And I kind of answered this. About six, seven years ago, I started my YouTube originally, uploading my beats and my channel, D-Crack on the Beat. And then I created this channel about five months ago, D-Crack for reactions, vlogs, pranks, other videos like that. So yeah, guys, there's all the questions. That was the last questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this official Q&A video by me, D crack yeah guys if you have any recommendations for some other videos I should do make sure and comment down below leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it but yeah guys I just want to say while I'm here thank you for all the love and support that I'm seeing on my videos you guys consistently watching them and liking them because without you guys I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube I'd just be doing my job and YouTube really YouTube really makes life more fun. It gives me something to do other than just the boring, going to work, coming home every day type thing. Other than my family. I love them. They bright up my, you know, they bright up my life. But I really enjoy YouTube and I just want you guys to know how thankful I am. But yeah, guys, I love you all. Make sure and like this video again. Comment. But until next time, guys, peace.